Okay. We're recording. We have to finger here because he's my bitch. Let's dance. And hopefully everything can be heard. Uh, I have got fish. So oh. not your bitch. A little bit. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I've got uh, Diluc, Fish, uh, Nyangwang, Sucrose, Razor, Zingu. Yeah. How am I so lucky? I don't know, but let's hope that that luck continues. Yeah, please, pull again. I want you to see getting two Dilics again in this one. Well, we got a purple, so it's a full. Oh, well, we got Sucrose again. <laughs> weapons. Don't really care about the weapons. You might have gotten another character. You never know. No, just Sucrose. Damn it. Okay, I, I, I need to go my god, my internet password. Can I get some of the chat? What does that mean? Okay. I can use it twice. I'm hacking. If I was hacking, I would have What's his name? Everything. Yes. Uh, that as well. I would have... Is it Zhao? The... Uh, the... Adepti guy. But he looks like a human. Oh, the uh, edgy boy. Yes, I would have him. Because I want him. And I would have a maxed out Deluke. I'm not, I'm not sure he's in the pool. Uh, I know that he is a playable character, but I'm not sure what you have to do to get him. He might only be during events. He might not be in the wish pool. Um... When did I get that? I don't remember having that. So, Slingshot is now max rank. It's increased damage for me. It's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Yeah, it makes sense to actually love play a bit with you. Okay, so now, what's the weapon that she currently has? The weak spot one. Yeah, so crit damage up. But it's only damage against weak points. Switch to that one. Okay, so we might actually use fish some more now. Sucrose. Um, anyway, uh, we did get an adventure rank upgrade off dream, so we'll do that. And then, if I can get the adventure rank 30, our world level increases again. Awesome. Uh, Kidoki. I've not done any commissions or anything today. The issues of getting a PS4 to connect to the Wi-Fi is apparently very hard in my house. Yeah. Things, things can be a butt. So can I do that? 
do this? Quest with Chilbe? Oh, uh, have I got enough stuff to make anything? It's been a little while since I haven't played in the last few days. Yeah, yeah that's the thing I did. when you just find things that your past you left for your future you. Yeah. Uh, do I want Mapama or Prototype Malice? I mean, the Prototype Malice is really good. I suppose that would be really good to put on Sucrose if I was going to use Sucrose because I would swap Barbara out. But then I'd still have a heal. So we'll go with that. No, no, no. Thank you, Vixian, for the follow. Do I take song requests? No. I tend to not have music uh, actually during my streams. Yeah, lately... Lately it's been more complicated having music on stream. I mean, even before, like, all of the DMCA issues. Yeah, but before they only muted your thoughts. Yeah. Care about odds, you could have music. You wouldn't lose anything. Yeah, well I tend to I tend to put all of my stuff on YouTube after the fact. Uh, as an archive. And so if you have music on YouTube, it's a pain in the ass. Why the fuck not? I send it again. So not only does it do more damage, it's gonna give her a hell of a lot more health. To switch to that. What weapon do I actually have Barbara using now? So how about using a weapon that gives health but not as much? Ooh. Well, anyway, we will swap out for the sake of doing something a little bit different. <sighs> Fuck it. Why are we fucking? I might disconnect from Discord. But don't okay. worry, it's normal. Okay. Interesting. Be an easier way. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Am I lagging? Uh, not particularly, as far as I can tell. Just so you know, I can lag a lot. This is fine. I embrace the lag. What do you need to ascend again? Can I ascend you again? I could, but I need more of that. Well, we can come to that bridge when we cross it. Uh, so we've got Sucros. I forget. Okay, so I ha when it says that I have two charges of that, I literally have two. 
Fair enough, that's what two means. And I can acquire these, which I've never really done much of. Alright, and we need to go back to Lianyu. Awesome. So I think one thing that I did do off stream is level up the Luke some more, or leveled up the debate, not the debate club, the uh, practice events. And maybe his artifacts, now that I think about it. God, I don't remember this. I don't know, I feel like it did that. God damn, Deluxe damage versus anyone else's. Deluxe does nearly a thousand. That's nearly a thousand attack. Everyone else is like 300. Yeah. I still just wish that I had uh, Venti or Mona with their uh, traversal skills, though. But, you know what, what we got the uh, Cat Eared Scholar in Thigh Highs instead, so... I'm sorry, which one? M uh, so I've got Sucrose. Okay. When you say... Cat oh, Eared with Thigh Highs. She does! And little booty shorts. Because all of the female characters, when they glide, you have to see their ass, apparently. That's a feature. It's a feature, yeah. Where? Where am I trying to go? Because it seems like. This is telling me to go up, but then the, thing, the other thing's telling me to go down. Hi, there's a man. Oh, you can actually enter it. That, that would be where my confusion is. I'm in a bank. Give me all your money. Welcome, friend of child. And congratulations on the first day of your illustrious career well, with the Fatui. Blink for Klee. You sound remarkably sure of Fuck yourself. It. Remember, we are mere mortals. Our ideas are fluid like water. Boy. Only the Tsuritsa truly has a will as solid as the permafrost. But back to the matter at hand. Child tells me that he has upheld his end of your agreement. What agreement? Oh, the thing about him helping us find a guy? Correct. Child promised he would find someone to break the stalemate. And the Harbingers do not break their promises lightly. Ah, where is that guy anyway? Child is currently at Leoli Pavilion. Oh, oh, Paimon knows this one. <clears throat> There are two styles of cooking in Liyue, known as Li style and Yue style. They have been competing for centuries, but now there's a merge of cooking as in, the a, clear in Liyue, known as Li and Wei. Yes, there's two styles of Asian cooking, A and Jun. The flagship restaurant of the Lee After style the is the Li Li Pavilion. The owner especially chose to open the restaurant at Feiyuan Slope so they could compete face to face with the Xinyue Kiosk, which is the flagship restaurant of the Yue style. Don't talk to Paimon like that! Anyway, Paimon's hungry. Let's get moving. Oh, I've not missed Welcome to the all Northland of them. Bank. 
bullshit talking with Paimon. No one ever does. Like, if this game... If the cutscenes in this game just went by without you having to clip, I think I wouldn't mind it as much. But because you have to be involved, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, it's understandable. Aha, you made it. As promised, I, I want found you. someone who can help you. I, I, I want you, child. The of why the I know Leo that sounds bad, but the I want you as a playable vessel. character. So, where is he? In Less the only pavilion? He certainly is. Come, I'll introduce you. I took the liberty of setting up a business dinner, as per the Liu custom. Welcome back, sir. You honor us with your patronage. Mr. Zhongli is awaiting your arrival in the room you booked. I don't want him as well now. He's oh, clearly I... Earth Emblem. Oh, it's... I think you're... I know who you're talking about, and I think he's one of the new characters that's gonna be out of... Zongi or some shit. Allow me to introduce Mr. Zhongli, consultant Zhongli. to an organization known as Wang Sheng, and a trusted associate of the Fatui. Is it a Neji boy? He's kind of edgy. I mean, he's wearing oh, yeah. eyeliner. All black clothing? Not quite. Indeed. Wang Chung's line of oh. work can be sensitive at times. Let's just say they understand when discretion is needed. You, my account is not even close And we, the Fatui, have always been glad to do business with friends who walk in the shadows. <laughs> walk in the shadows? It is an honor to meet you. I have heard tell of you from Mondstadt. That is not a voice that I thought would... Shadows? Okay. Uh, is Wang Shen some kind of business involving... Oh, Jesus. ...dealing with people? Indeed. It is as you have guessed. <sighs> the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor organizes burials. Oh, it's a funeral parlor. We ensure that those who pass on do so in peace. <laughs> Did you think he was some sort of hired killer? The Fatui calls many such people friends, but the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor does not dabble in such business. Well, ostensibly. Well, they are still... Uh, I shouldn't say too much. In any case, I brought you to meet Mr. Zhang Li because... Because I can bring you to see Rex Lapis's vessel. What? Is this the Don't be so surprised. Sure, the Geo Archon's body has been scrolled oh, no, away by order of the Tian Chuan Ning Guang. But first, yeah, that's gonna let's be hear a, what uh, Mr. Zhang Li has to character. say, shall we? Rex Lapis may be the prime of Adepti, but he is ultimately an Adeptus. Well, at least I'm pretty sure. Many Adepti have left us over the millennia. This is the end. The times have changed. You must have felt it too when you were at Jueun Karst. As you have seen, the time of the Adepti is ending, and the time of mankind is slowly dawning. In years yeah, past, this Lord of the Rings Leo's now. tradition was that a huge <laughs> memorial service be held Maybe. to mark the passing of every Adeptus. But this time, the Qixing have made no attempt whatsoever to respect this tradition. It yeah, the killer hasn't even been caught yet! Deicide or not, the concern of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is this. When the ritual to receive this god is so kingly, it is all the more egregious for his final send-off to go unattended to. Traveler, Child has told me a lot about you. Since you have had dealings with the Animo Archon, could I ask you to help me prepare the Geo Archon's last rites? I must admit, I look forward to seeing what they do with all the other Archons. Because there's only two areas in the game so far with Mondstadt and Liyue. But there's obviously seven of these gods. So there's 
stands to reason that there's at least seven regions. I'm not sure if they're gonna do the actual seven, but at least a couple they should. Like I just I reckon that because obviously the game's in its infancy at the minute, but as it develops, even if it does end up becoming that there are expansions that you have to play for, pay for or something, like. It would make sense for there to be more regions. A wise decision. At the very sense. least, the the Tui region, because they're obviously the big bad. Or one of the big bads. The Tianchuan Ningguang has forbidden anyone from accessing Rex Lapis's vessel, which of course you would need to access if you were to achieve your goal of meeting all of the seven. Precisely. Only by participating in the Rite of Parting will you be able to see the form of Rex Lapis again. If we are agreed, come with me. We will speak of the details as we walk. Anyways, after I love to stick here, but I got glasses to go. All right, my bridge building work right, here is man. done. I Turned out well, didn't it. it? Best of luck with the strength stream. You can go if you want to. Yep. Don't worry about me. Oh, I might just have a few boy. more drinks and get acquainted with these things they call chopsticks in the meantime. I need to get better at using chopsticks. I know you're hey. Hey. After having experienced the land of the absentee Archon, Traveler, how does it feel to know that our Archon and Adepti are here all around you in Liyue? <laughs> I see. So you're that sort of person. It's not a bad thing. But I suppose you have yet to experience the substance of Liyue's 3,700 years of divinity. Organizing the rite of parting should prove to be an enlightening part of your travels. It would be interesting... ...to live in a society where you could... ...physically go and see your god. Liyue is the most prosperous of the Seven Nations, and defended by deities like and ruled by the Chisi. As such, the diplomatic it. maneuverings of the Fatui have gained no purchase here. Ningguang of the Chixing has always been on her guard against the Fatui. That is in all likelihood why Child wants to make use of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's connections. I neither know nor do I wish to know. As far as I am concerned, the Fatui are merely financial sponsors. I only wish for Liyue's traditions to endure. These are the advanced funds that Child has provided. If you use them up, you can go to him to apply for any subsequent funding. Wow! Well then, let us be off. The first step in our preparations shall be to obtain some prize Noctilucus Jade worthy of a deity. I have some of that. I mean, apparently the, the stuff that I have isn't good enough, but I have some of that. Y'all booty, bitch. Shit, too. Interesting. Welcome to the Jade Mystery, my good friends. Would you like to try your luck betting on Jade? This could be your lucky day. It's cheap and it's fun, and who knows? You just might strike it rich. Betting? No, no, we're here for... Um... What was it again? 
Noctilucus Jade, of radiant grade at the very least. Radiant grade, Noctilucus Jade? I see. You're not a tourist. My apologies. I have some here for your perusal. What do you think? The Jade Mystery is an old name in the Jade business. Just look at that wonderful quality. Rex Lapis doesn't often bless us with such finery. Go on, pick whichever one you like. These three pieces really do look pretty. Not like the ones you usually dig up. But how do we pick? Should we just grab one and go? <laughs> Very good. It seems you have learned some tricks of the trade. What do you think, Mr. Zhongli? How should we pick from these pieces of Noctilucus Jade? Oh? You want me to decide? That is fine as well. If it were me, the answer would be simple. Oh? And that would be... Get all three. I'll take them all, boss. Oh, you act with such panache, good sir. I always knew you were not a man of ordinary caliber. Huzzah! A man of quality. Oh, wait, wait, boss. That one didn't count. We need to discuss it again. Hey, if we only need one for the ritual, aren't we wasting three times the more if we buy them? Oh, Mora. Hmm. It is as you say. I suppose I overlooked this particular aspect of the transaction. Huh? How do you not think about Mora when buying things? If one must always consider Mora before acting, then in all things one is bound by Mora. Uh, what? All Mora is currency, but not all currency is Mora. What? Confucius? Is this how the rich live? Well, he knows a lot about big money, but not a lot about big savings. No need to waver. Even when I am constrained by Mora, I have ways of working around my limitations. Evaluating the quality of Noctilucus Jade is indeed very tricky. As crude ore, there is little difference in texture, lustrousness, and internal pattern between good and bad jade. Only after the item made using Noctilucus Jade has taken shape will you be able to see whether it is up to par or not. Uh -huh. If you return to those crafty merchants to quibble, they will counter by saying that your crafting bench is to blame or that your heat control was poor. Whoa! To think it's that easy to get cheated! But there is a way to truly evaluate this jade, and a true insider would know it. A fool sees the pointer and misses the moon. What does that mean? If you point at the moon with your finger, a wise man knows that you are pointing at the moon, while a fool will only see the finger, the patterns, the facade. These are all the finger. Noctilucus Jade is a mystical stone used to light up the darkness, and so its brightness is the important thing. It is the moon. Fireworks. Dr. Lucas Jade of excellent quality would have superior pyro affinity. In other words, the bluer and brighter the luster of the ore under high temperature, the higher its quality. I have imparted the priceless secrets of the jade trade to you. Now, all that's left is to put it into practice. Priceless, huh? Hyman's just said that we might never be able to use it again. We're back to buy some rocks, boss. But can you let us burn them first? Uh, burn them? You can't do that, my friends. If you were to do so, what would I have to sell? That would... well... fine. As you wish, then. How about this? I can take a small sample of all three. I'll take a bit of a loss. Uh, we'll count it as a friendly gesture. <laughs> Don't worry. I know the rules. As long as we can prove that it is good jade, you will not take a loss. All right. Take these as samples. I've carved them off with a knife and tagged them to boot. Aren't these too thin? 
Even paper's thicker. No, even a bug's wings are thicker. These are almost see-through. Stingy? I've already been very generous. Any more... Oh dear God, why is there so much talking? What is the purpose of this? But wouldn't something this thin go poof if we held it to the fire? It can't be helped. Trying to deprive a merchant of his profits would be like forcing a ravenous wolf to vomit up the food in its stomach. Nonetheless, under the right conditions, these thin slices will serve. What sort of conditions? While we add the high temperatures using pyro, we can use hydro to reinforce it from within. This way, the samples will not disintegrate immediately. Oh! Oh, sir, to think you were this learned. Thank you for your understanding. Strictly speaking, asking for samples when we have not yet agreed to purchase the goods is unfair. Trade in Liyue must be based upon fairness. Great. Well, Why does this matter? We just need, to find we just place need to Jade to go out. and see the court. You mean at one mean restaurant? Uh, as long as we do it when she's not in. That would not do. It is a place where people come and go. Oh, Paima remembers. We once saw this big pot down at the Data Upa Gorge in the camp of the Hilly Trolls. Ne All right, fuck you. Let's just do this. Back to the gameplay. Ah. It is, it is the biggest issue that I have with this game, I think, is the, the way that they've done the dialogue and the amount of dialogue. It has been a long time since I last set foot in the Nation of Wind. A friend of mine from Mondstadt would always bring a few bottles of locally brewed dandelion wine whenever he came to visit me in Liyue. It must be said that the famed liquor of the land of Pastorals is far better than Sumeru's frigid snake wine. Okay. Cool story, bro. Yeah, whilst we were here, we may as well have done that. is doing some damage. I mean, she held her own more than I thought. So. There's still soup in here! These hilly trolls sure this soup looks like it could be used as our hydro-elemental protection. Let's fire it up and begin our so basically, we just needed to boil the jade. We're ready to go! Paimon will help remember which one of the three is which. Use Pyro to keep making the pot hotter until we get the results we need. Mr. Zhongli said that the shinier and bluer the or Are you telling me that I need to use Hydro? <laughs> Oh, Hilly trolls are surrounding us again! Are they 
So does that not mean that the first jade is the best? That light came from the second note to Lucas Jade, didn't it? I suppose not. More help, Charles. They don't give up, do they? Looks like they're mad to rejoin their food. Don't break my glasses. I suppose when it's raining, uh, Super has really worked out because of the swirling. How convenient. So much shinier than the rest. Let's go with that one. Let's head back to the jade mystery to buy This some goes jade, up on YouTube and people are confused why there's fireworks. It is the 5th of November. Which, uh, in the UK, is Bonfire Day. When we, uh, celebrate the foiling of a plot to kill the, and overthrow the government. A guy forks. It's an odd tradition. You're back, my friends. I've kept the goods for you. Which of them would you like? Exactly. That's the one Paimon remembers too. No problem. If you have your eye on this one, you can have it. Then we'll take a box of the third type of jade. Done. All the same, uh, pardon me for asking, but I'm curious. Whatever do you need this much top quality Noctilucus jade for? Hmm. I suppose it would not hurt to tell you. We need them to make implements for the rite of parting. <laughs> parting? Oh, dear. I'd heard the rumors, but had given much thought to them. This... This means that Rex Lapis really is... Oh, it's hard to believe. Even though the Jade Mystery has been in decline, we have always been under his protection. It is said that when our Lord lost his way while going incognito in the city 200 years ago, it was a spoon from the Jade Mystery that he had used to sample the local delights. Alas... Alas, all things must pass. <sighs> well, if this is to be used to say farewell to Rex Lapis, then I shall sell this to you at half the price. Are you sure? You didn't want to even give us an inch before. If not for our Lord's protection, this city wouldn't exist as it does now. No proprietor could earn money off such a thing. Oh, I'm sure Rex Lapis will feel your sentiment, boss. In the safe hands of the Liu Achising and good, honest merchants such as yourself, I for one Hello, believe that Li All right. Now that we've made a- Hey, wait- Oh, right. As I- I don't care. More, My apologies. Another- Oh, that won't do. <sighs> That's a relief. Have a look- It's fine. Just enough for half price. Well- it's Look at you bossing everyone around. You didn't cough up a single. Hmm. More what? side questing. I want a new toy. Hey. <laughs> So, I need to go back. Oh no, I need to take the J. Okay. Where am I? 
Oh, am I putting it? Oh, but wasn't this where he died? I suppose that might be why we're going. I mean, his corpse isn't here, so got that going for us. We can leave the jade here. I have already called for a jewelsmith to shape them into the implements that we will need. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. I have yet to go and see Child. So, as for the... I guess we can't do anything else. Also... Yes. I have already read... That's right. But when something this big happened here, should suspects like... Although with that said, since we could also... Traditionally, we call... Ah, right. That's what it was called. You seem to know everything. Mr. Zhongli. One must think that they already have someone in mind. Or perhaps they are the before the golden oh, the oh, only fucking... oh, no, but since the rite of parting has the perhaps eat in lieu. Well then. Perfume. No. Silk flood. It's time for <laughs> What do you need now? Silk flowers. Great. Golden ha my, you two must be his servants. Uh, please refrain from any further attempts to contribute. Now that silk flower just look by contrast. This variety thrives in any dark, damp location, often in large clusters. Lastly, this strain is quite the recluse. Unlike its exuberant cousins, silk flowers have all but disappeared from the wild today. Do wow! Uh, I possess but a smattering of... Oh, Mr. I'll take them all, boss. <laughs> How can I put this? When purchasing opera tickets, it is natural to decide base, but this silk flower purchase is not an... Perhaps you don't know. Tradition states that we should decoct perfume from different subspecies, like several other tedious and complicated traditions. But this is the only rite of parting to take place for one of the seven in 3,700. Now that's settled. A question. You forgot to bring money again? Uh, if I may. Yes. Gosh, well, wh it would... Are you serious? Why, if he had... Huh. Thank you, but... Our school. has nothing to do with me. Ideally, with talk about hence I so this I will wait. Maybe we can find some good candidates at the Adventurers Guild. <gasps> Let's ask Lauren. She's master of the Leeway branch, right? A copy of each invoice is sent to the Ministry of Civil. Oh dear God. Fetch quest upon a fetch quest upon a fetch quest. Hello. We've come to ask you a question. Perfume? That's it. Since I used. That's the. While we're on this. Yang it? Yes, that's great. Who the fuck? <laughs> Why am I going? Ah! I 
I had to farm in dungeons to reach this point. Adventurer. Well, hello. And now actually I'm running around asking how to relax. I know why you're here. You three and you have extreme tastes for someone your age. As Zhongli as one of my favorite that way. In short, I'm happy to help. So, where is a good place for making... Where is that? Mondstadt? Somewhere... This thing's just plain stupid! I've had a word. Are you ready to... What it? I meant make... Well, I'm... Leo's really got a lot going. Cheap and it? tasty chop suey. Should I save this money? I could go for some chop suey right about now. This water now perfume making uses an altogether different technique from alchemy. Here, let me teach you. Very carefully, take hold of the mortar and pestle. Gently does it. You need to keep your wrist firm. Now use your strong hand to stir it with a persistent rhythm. Keep going until the juices start to come out. Ooh! Now take the- Don't forget to- So it's, uh... It's like masturbation. Not sure how I feel about that. You must take so please don't waste all three perf a testament to the lengths you will anyway. I'm a one this first the second finally all clear? Don't get them good. I'll leave you with one who tries to say <laughs> Let's take these three perfumes over to the statue of the seven. Mr. Zhang Li's probably been waiting a while. Uh-huh. He can fucking wait. Where the fuck is he? Oh, at the statue of the seven. That's a bit of a ways away. So, I'm still waiting for uh, a delivery, but, uh, well, we brought the, did we take it said that it would arrive to by tomorrow, that is but true. then two days ago I got a message saying, Thank it'll you arrive both. today. Let us mm, offer Yesterday I got a message saying, it'll arrive today. Today I didn't get a message. This is the first kind of perfume. This is the second kind. The third kind has a gentle but lingering fragrance. Something, something like the dusk mist. And it's a favorite of mature ladies. Oh, what was that? That's the one older lady. Does that mean that... <laughs> Rex Lapis has taken on countless... What a shame. We only got to see the... We can leave that to the authorities. Let us focus on the fond f So, we finished and Next, I would like the two of you to Cleansing the- At present, a friend of mine named Madam Ping. Sure, but Ah. Man. Many things do I have to do? Just- Ah! Yeah. 
I enjoy the combat, but this these story missions, the pacing is a little off sometimes. Oh yeah, I drowned. Whoops! Oh well. I suppose I could heal her. Are you here to admire the flat? What happened? Back in my day, people said the glazed lilies, but... So that means... Yes. So this harbor is like a well. I shall... Ah, an old friend of mine. He saw me, but he told me it has still the... Oh, these old... That's right, and... All right, children. Uh? Oh. An old lady like me can't afford to buy a place in this city. See this ceramic teapot? How does that work? Oh, youngsters. I simply mean that the... This granny is so weird. What does she mean, Earl? Is this a... Oh... God, it's like a genie's lamp situation. Is she an adept eye? Where are we? What just happened? Youngsters, this is where this old woman keeps all her things. Quickly now. Go fetch that bell. Whoa! That's what the green is going. So, this is her class? What's going on? Oh dear. So many cobwebs. <laughs> it seems I really haven't cleaned this in a long while. Sorry to trouble you children. Please help the old lady clean up. I mean, this is a bit more like it, but... Did you notice? The cobwebs were made of elemental energy! How long has it been since Granny last swept this place? Fish is, oh. Uh, fish is short to dick. And the cleansing bell? Do you think this old granny could also be an adeptus? Not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> I mean, I think it's pretty much guaranteed that she is an adeptus. <laughs> Yeah. 
Give me a sword. Boink! Is that really your question? We're inside a giant teapot. And your question is how many levels it has. Not how the fuck did you fit this much stuff in it. Oh, you found it. <laughs> Youngsters are so quick on their feet. Oh, now, let me see. How did this opening work again? Oh dear. All right, that'll do. <laughs> Come on out now, children. Can this please be the last thing that we needed to get? Oh, in and out in no time. An adeptus. Oh, I haven't heard anyone say those words in earnest for a long time. Uh, new blanket. Anniversary present from Jade. <laughs> it's Twitch. And it's got glitch on it. As to whether I am one or not, child, surely you already understand. Ah, Hyman kind of knows what you mean. But is also kind of confused. Are you really giving us the bell just like that, Granny? Don't you think it's weird? Some oh, don't be silly. Leo Harbor has been through a great deal in its history. In that time, it has seen the departure of countless Adepti. But no matter what, we have always performed the rite of parting first before any other matters. To cry, Catch the murderer at the top of one's lungs, but ignore the right of parting. That, to me, is what is wrong-headed. Now that you have come to borrow the bell, I guess that perhaps an old friend of mine has finally decided to take matters into their own hands. So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? Oh? Well, if it came to that, <laughs> They would find a certain old lady knocking at their door. We haven't met in a while anyway. It would be nice to share a drink and chat. Well, you must have things to do. Oh, and do tell the person who sent you that if they have time, they can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer. We will. Thanks. <laughs> So is it going to turn out that Rex Lapis isn't actually the Arthur? <laughs> but rather that Rex Lapis is a title taken up by Adepti. Indeed, this is the cleansing bell. Let's place the perfume we've prepared inside. An adeptus. Hmm. That's suspicious. But if you don't want to talk about it, we won't pry. Oh, yes, that old granny asked us to tell you something. If you have the time, you can come over for tea. I don't have... <laughs> that tone does not suit you. Still... Her teapot is indeed very good. When a suitable time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay her a visit. Fuck off. So what's the next step in our preparations? Hmm. Next, we need to purchase... <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> no, no. I will explain it to you. Oh! I need to buy kites.
motherfucking kite. Sure. Fine. Whatever. <laughs> Your bitch took some kite. <laughs> yes. Thank you. It's rare. Well, this is... We've talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him. He seems to know Leo's favorite topics, money and gun. Well, that's because I... <laughs> Finally, I... Indeed. I took as... Ah, Paimon's her dad named... Huh? The design of this kite displays a firm grasp on the cyclicality and eternity so dear to the Electro Archon. These markings of tree and leaf pay due honor to which justice flows across the surface of the waters. War rages like a flame. <laughs> well then, Granny Shen, I shall take these back with me. Well, allow me. Hey, it's Child! <laughs> no, I see Mr. Zhang Li's the same as ever. When paying, well, when getting up, he knows a great deal about money. And about the trials of the common man, he just... Or perhaps, you could say... How is he not... <laughs> Child, you are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then, the right of parting requires helping hands. Oh, by the way, take this bag of money. You probably won't want to let Zhang... Hmm, seems I missed out on some interesting information. I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune... Hiring help. Adventure. Just take me. Eh? That's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventure. A most fair price. Five geo crystal flies. Yes, I do think it's worth about this much. I'll. A full day of odd jobs at Yujing Terrace. Whoa, that's expensive. Hero of Mondstadt? Well, you may never have heard of this hero, but it seems you've heard of Mora nonetheless. Oh, shit. That's too little. This price will do. The amount that we're having to pay makes me really question the economics of this world. For a day's work. Oh, help? Sure. I, Tick, always put in 100% effort into everything I do. So what's the job? Let me see. We are still missing some wooden... No problem. That'll be tw Done. Let me think. Deal. So basically, you go down to like half the price that they list. And they're pretty much gonna take it. All finished then? Splendid. Any. You think you can buy us off with some loose change? <laughs> well, how does this sound? You give me the info. What info do you need? Huh. Does that mean you know what he's after? Yikes! You're right, Signora! <laughs> you both need to calm down. Just what is this about? The. Uh... Next, we need some everlasting incense. Is. Every Everything is fun. Now, if you'll ex. This... This is an annoying as fuck. Set of quests. It's all just fetch quests. It legitimately feels like I've been doing a fetch quest for now.
Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. Huh? Are you did, Boo Boo? Did you? The reception, it's. Hey, Boo Boo! Fireworks. Are you a ghost? You're kind of cute. I think you're a playable character. Oh, there you are. But you can't. Ah. Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. I am Chi Chi. Once you are upon definitely. a time, Chi Chi died. Then. Something like. Uh, Excuse me, sir. I. Surely no. Chi Chi can get your medicine. But. Only if you show cheap Zombies are limited to acting within the confines of their orders. And somehow in this case, my dear Chi Chi, we didn't bring a pres- Okay then. How did you manage that? But, Chi Chi- Since when do customers need to do- Never mind. Just think of it as a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. Go to Mount Tianhong, find the Guizhong Ballista, and hunt a Coco Goat. Please- I don't believe so. It's a kind of crossbow turret. Installed located in Chenhong Pass. It was designed to Mr. Zhang Li Apparently not quite. This is The Coco Goat is a le Did you wanna add it? No. Just that the Coco Goat what it looks like. Don't know. Where to find it? Don't know either. Very well then. I like her I want I want I want you as a playable character. What is your element? My guess is Electro. I can't see your vision. Oh, I know, it's on your head. Cryo? Yeah, that's Cryo. Okay. I could fuck with some Cryo. I've only got K so far. And I'm guessing that she is a maid character which is also fine because it'd be good to have a mage in every element for activating shit because they're uh, all of their attacks are elemental Currently inoperable in any case. Aw, oh, what? After a millennia of wear and tear. So what are we gonna do? Hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some... S that said, let me think for a moment. As I recall, if we can retrieve the sp... So... I have a... With the parts in hand. <laughs> okay. This bit... I potentially don't mind. Because I'm actually doing something. One and straight back to dial. It is done. The it's easy enough. We simply need to do this. Look. Over here we have nothing. And over there, more nothing. Hey! Just what do you think you're doing? Freckle. What the fuck kind of name is Freckle? Do you so you to know fixed up this turret because you're planning to do what exactly? Not a turret, a Guizhong ballista. <laughs> Are you blind or something? 
You this area is supposed to be chock full of hidden treasures, but you can't get anywhere near them with last time we approached the mount. A few of us risked our lives to disarm it, which amazingly we managed. And then we turn our backs for two seconds, and you've already gone and repaired it! The next thing you'll be repairing is your faces! Tut tut. It is not we who need. Alright, let's fuck him up. They did what I was trying to do to them. Smart motherfuckers. Another test, another test, another test. Fry! Fry! You son of that tickle the beard! I think that. A search using the what's more, a contraption built using a de <sighs> which means a pinon wouldn't go there. <sighs> we won't solve anything while standing here and racking up. Good idea. We a cocoa goat. <laughs> Fucking cocoa. I still wish there was a mount of some kind. Go, go, go. I thought it was about to load in a Coco Go. <laughs> Forgive us. We were unable to. <sighs> what a disappointment. Aw, poor Chi Chi. Why does Paimon feel. Cocoa goat milk is tasty. So. I'm sorry. I have a. Ah, here. This is. Huh? <sighs> I owe you both an apology. I hastily agreed to what. Never mind, Zhang Li. You didn't. Excuse me, everyone. She's cute, and I want to play her. This poor kiddo 
Chichi's world to you. No. Seems Chichi took this pretty hard. <laughs> Someone learned a valuable life lesson today, then. Might I ask who? Ah, how rude of me. I'm Baiju, boss the of the Gugu Pharmacy. The first Dendro character I think we've met. Hyman thought Chichi was the boss. Turns out it's some wacko who wears medicinal ingredients around his neck. What a sorry state of affairs. This little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi-Chi. Ah, the medicine... the snake is speaking! <laughs> I prefer to stay silent, but faced with strangers, I must speak, lest you mistake me for an escapee from the medicine cabinet, for I am a living, breathing serpent! <laughs> Don't mind Chung Shung. She's a good girl, really. As for you three, communal chaos causing with Chi Chi aside, what business brings you here? Do you sell everlasting incense? Everlasting incense? Oh, at last. Three million mora. Top quality. Guaranteed. You might as well just rob the Golden House. Oh, but the Chi Sing have taken it over for now. Hmm. Three million. It's a crazy number. We'd never be able to make that much more. Uh... <laughs> this is correct. What are we gonna do? Is this the part? <laughs> 20 minutes <laughs> later. Coco Goat. Coco Goat. <laughs> hey, let's la <laughs> I'm almost in tears over here. Uh, thank you. That was the best laugh. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Baiju, isn't it? Truly honored. If Ubu Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut milk, the fat. Strange. I knew the fat. Coconut milk. Baiju, quick. Chi Chi wants coconut milk. Ah, yes, of course, Chi Chi. Anything you want. Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration. That's like. Zero. Hmm. Two million nine hundred and ninety thousand. Well. Now that this is settled, we must head back to Yujing Terrace. Mr. Child, Dr. Baiju, little Miss Chi Chi, see you soon. Ah, that lot is an absolute riot. Uh, so, you've been eavesdropping, I hope? Yes, Master Child. They spoke of the Chi Xing taking the Golden House. Well, well, well. Ningguang and her chi sing cronies. What else would they be hiding in the Golden House, if not the Exuvia? I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo is. <sighs> in a minute, I am gonna go and have to put some. Food in the oven when Jade finishes. On the drive. Good, good. Oh, not that far. Yeah, I'll stick the food in. <laughs> in a minute, then. Well, as it stands, we've hired helpers, and we've a... Ooh, fine. Well, Traveler, have you get Odd. <laughs> With the questions that such travels raise are ever so complicated. To treat you to a meal. Oh, ah, uh, yeah. Tonight, I shall take you both to an old... <laughs> Indeed. Let us meet near the harp. Brexit. <sighs> okay, well, I... Thankfully, I can just...
that's actually one of the mechanics I like. I'm not sure how I feel about the fact that the sun only rose at like five o'clock. I feel like Brexit is definitely a play on Brexit. Thank you. Ah, you're here. There's no need to order. I've already done so. Third round knockout is not for lightweights, like those taverns in Mondstadt. Here, the owner does not take such unorthodox orders as fruit juice. I ordered some wine-fermented sweet rice balls for you, if that counts. If it is to your liking, dear customers, I shall continue the tale of Lady Ningguan's Jade Chamber. Jade Chamber. Hey, there's even a storyteller here. Great atmosphere. Uh huh. Besides fine wine, the excellent ambiance is the reason why this place is so well loved. But when I say ambiance, I refer to a different sort from the one the Tevat Travel Guide uses to judge other establishments. As you all know, high above the land of Liyue lies a pavilion in the clouds, a palace in the mist. What does it mean to have all-seeing eyes? This, my friends, Lady Ningguan's masterwork that bridges earth and sky. Imagine. The weather is clear, and you gaze down from the deck on the world below. Behold! The glorious sights of Liyue Harbor. That's a horny girl. Stretching out far and wide. That's a horny girl. I want to say that when Lady Ningguan ponders important affairs, she retreats to her jade chamber with none. But her three closest confidants in tow. Why brings she these trusted three to sift through sources, dig through documents, looking for information? Piece by piece, facts and figures paint a picture on the walls of the chamber. But well before the wall is filled, Lady Ningguang's mind is made up. Having made her call, she has every last document shredded, and whoosh, she scatters the shavings out her window. Ah, look at them, how they billow in the wind like a sudden swirling blizzard. As the fragments fall, traces of text flicker before the eyes of the merchants of Liyue, like ink stains in white snow. The saying goes, the rarest treasures in the land are the words brought by the paper snow. For the words of the Tianquan have the power to move mountains, and all throughout the land know it. These are but scraps of paper, and yet they guide Lady Ningguang's hand. Such is their value. Merely grasping one or two of them will surely gift you a fragment of her wisdom. Enough to stay a step or two ahead of your peers. Tiantuan Ningguang. Feels like we're hearing this name a lot. Liyue locals talk about her. The Fatui hate her. She's most likely the one who hid the Exuvia. And we saw her at the Rite of Dissension. She's a member of our party. Huh. Paimon wonders what sort of person she is. At last I have found you. You who returned from Jiuyun Karst. Who's there? Wait. I am not with the Millilith. Nor am I here to claim your bounty. However, I am an emissary of the Liyue Chising. 
My name is Ganyu, secretary at the Yua High Pavilion, and I have come specifically to meet you. I want you. Well, in concrete terms, I am the corporate secretary for the Qixing. Are you Anna? At the moment, I am serving as Lady Ningguang's special emissary. Ningguang sent you? She's we either were Anima or just Cry. talking about her. My apologies, you who have returned from Jiayun Karst. I am duty bound Cryo. and cannot extend my courtesy to you in full. But I have with me a letter from Lady Ningguang. She extends a formal invitation to you in her capacity as Tianquan. She invites you to her palace in the sky. An official invitation? Lady Ningguang said this. Invite him to come here. I wish to meet him. At the Jade Chamber, together we shall snip every one of these entwining dark threads. Uh-huh. And with that, the emissary who called herself Ganyu just disappeared. But we've received an invitation from the Leo at Qixing. Paimon still can't believe it. We'll be meeting people that have way more money than Paimon could ever count. <laughs> An invitation to visit the Jade Chamber is a rare honor indeed. You'd best be on your way now. But don't forget about the rite of parting. Once you've finished at the Jade Chamber, meet me at Dihua Marsh. Don't worry, we won't forget. Awesome. So... First things first. Let's use that constellation. And am I able to immediately go into the next? No. I can't. I can't do the next Archon quest. Probably until my world level is higher. So, I guess I have to go and farm a little bit more again. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to allow myself to do side quests off camera, but not story quests. But anyway. I need to go and uh, get things ready for Jade to get home. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Don't be shy. Later. Come inside.